guys, check out my new RC drift car and this thing is supposed to go 80 mile an hour. So in this video, we're going to have a little look at it, then we're going to take it out and give it a run and see if it's any good. So we're going to smoke some tyres, we're going to see how fast it goes on this GPS. Now for being a Banggood special, it is expensive, almost the same price as the Infraction. So in this video, we're going to see if it's any good. So we've got a brushless motor for loads of power, two 3S LiPos and if you look in there, we got a couple of disc brakes. Because that was one of the problems with the infraction. It's really fast, but it doesn't really want to slow down that well. So hopefully all this extra braking power is going to help. So we're four-wheel drive, metal chassis, rear diffuser. Although it's nowhere near as nice as the infractions one. We've got a few other alloy bits and bobs. Double wishbone suspension, front and rear. Alloy coilover shocks. It comes with a radio and a charger. So let's charge it up and give it a rip. So the charger that it comes with is only a low power charger. And it's probably going to take a about 10 hours to charge both packs. So I'm going to chuck it onto my charger that I use and this one should do it in under an hour. And that's a good start. We've got a faulty LiPo already so I've just chucked it into the battery checker. No idea what that is. One volt. What other batteries do we have? These ones will do. So these are also some Banggood specials but these are actually really good. So there's going to be a link to where you can get these from down below. So next we've got to change the battery connectors. Boom! So all charged up and next we've got to put the batteries in but the batteries are a little bit too big for the car but no big deal because the battery mounts are adjustable. Loads of room now. And look at that, it even comes with one of these Dumbo radios, which is really good because they got a massive long range. And when you go at 80 mile an hour, you need it. Let's get him on. So steering is actually quite lazy. So we're going to definitely do a servo upgrade in future. That noise you hear is the fans keeping it all nice and cool. And look, we have cableage and more cableage. <laughs> oh, check it. Oh. Going on with that. They're literally on for a couple of seconds and they turn off. Anyway, no big deal. We have rear ones. And that looks sick. So absolutely no idea why those lights are turning off after a few seconds. If you know, let me know in the comments. Anyway, that's enough waffle. Let's go rip. Here we are on location. We got the crew in the house. We got new crew in the house over there. Hello. Oh, look at the sparkage. Alright, speed run, let's see if we can do 80 mile an hour. I can't see 80 mile an hour, but we're gonna see anyway. Alright, here we go. I reckon 60 maybe. Oh, 68! Race time! Infraction versus Banggood Special. Are you ready? Ready. Ready, steady, go, 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 go! Oh no! <laughs> Round two. Ready, steady, go! It's not that much in it. It's not, is it? I'm back again. Oh! Oh! We crashed. Oh, that's where we hit, but we're good. Okay. Bang good, tough baby. So next, we're going to see how fast the infraction can go. Good. Oh, 62! Yeah, oh, we faster than that. So the bang good is faster. Oh, it means business now. You're going 8s. Yeah, 8s, yes. Yeah. 77! Oh, we've <laughs> oh, look, we've got another infraction! Creighton EXP! Yeah. Nice! Creighton EXP speed test! How fast do you reckon it will go? Yeah, 55. 55, alright, let's go! Oh, and he saves it! Yes! That is moving! Was that warm up? 62 mile an hour. So down there we've got a bone stock. Is it a bone stock infraction? It's brand new yesterday. Bone stock, brand new yesterday. And you just done how fast? 85 miles an hour. That's moving. Next they're going for a race. Go, 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 go. And they're off. The 8S one's in the lead. The spark's coming out. Oh, there was nearly a crash. And there we have the winner. <laughs> Oh guys, the speed controller burnt out. Whoa. 
So I've got an old armor ESC here that came out of the infraction. So we're going to chuck that in it. And then we're going to take it out and give it a proper rip. And also while we're at it, I've got a brand new servo because this one here is too slow. Oh, ho, ho. check it out, guys. This is full metal cased, metal gears, 32 kilos of torque, 0.07 on the speed. This is going to completely transform the whole car. So I'm going to shove it in, but I'm going to do it over on my live stream channel. Link to that down below. Then we'll get you back on. Then we're going to take it out again in this video and see if it's going to go any better with some better electronics. Because the car so far, I really love it. The electronics, meh. There we go. Got it all fitted and it fitted in there perfectly. Oh, that is so much better. Oh, hi, let's take it for a rip. Oh, guys, look. We've got the headlights working. I just watched RC Tanks and Trucks 24 7's video. You double click on this, Channel 3. You get loads of different modes, look. Kev, okay, that's a bit boring now. <laughs> That's where they click off. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see how fast it goes. Oh, hold on. Bits are falling off. Thank you, special. Oh, look, that screw fell out. Have we got a spare? Oh, it's much oh, better on this new servo. Look. Oh, That's lovely. That is wicked. Speed run, here we go. We're good. Thank you, tough baby. Get close to the arse. <laughs> Doubled up like race car tyres. Oh, bloody hell. Oh, look at these. These are lasting well good. Oh. Woo -hoo. Subscribe. Oh. These electronics have completely and utterly transformed it. It's turned it into something a bit pooey, into something absolutely epic. Luckily, they do the same car without electronics. I'm going to put a link to that one down below. I think you're probably going to be better off buying that one. You know, especially if you've got an old Creighton laying around that you don't want anymore and you've got some good electrics, shove them in there and you've got an epic street racer. The motor that came with it actually did a really good job. But if you're going to buy a motor and ESC combo, I would probably get one of these ones here. 
Hobby Wing Max 8 combo. So I'm going to put a link down below where you can get that from, where you can get the servo from, where you can get the car from, the radio, and everything else in this video. And we're just gearing up to take the Project 203 mile an hour, world's fastest RC car, out for its first serious run. We found a local runway, we got permission, so make sure you subscribe and smash the bell so that you don't miss it. Now, if you're wondering where the sparks come from, it's these little titanium buttons I've put on the bottom here. I'm going to put a link to where you can get these from down below. The great thing is you can literally screw them on anywhere where you want sparks. I've even put them onto the X-Max bumper there, look.